all right hello everyone and peace of the Lord the Messiah to all of you today our topic is you know we hear always people saying to us uh, five reasons ten reasons eleven reasons twelve reasons fifty reasons one thousand reasons uh, to do what to convert to Islam okay what are those reasons uh, all right I want to I convert to Islam give me uh, give me the reasons please uh, please please I want to I want to get the reasons the second we start talking about the reasons you will notice that the reasons are made to fit with something there's no real reasons <clears throat> and I will give you some examples and I find them all as funny and silly uh, in the front of us this is an article I just searched in Google you can do the same you know I'm not picking up an article or anything I just search in prophet Google peace upon him and you will find tons just type reasons to believe in Allah or whatever if religion is a truth it should be able to withstand some questioning <laughs> I mean <laughs> you just kill the reasons to convert to Islam because Islam forbid asking questions or questioning chapter 1 chapter 5 verse 101 I mean questioning who dare could who dare to question Muhammad I just saw in the news that Iran arrested more than 70 or 80 people just because they are doing yoga <laughs> they did not question anything yet <laughs> I mean yoga you know you do yoga in the Mohammedan lands you get arrested let me see if I can find the news okay hold on I just uh, you know uh, I read this here we go right. here it says uh, 30 people it says th 30 sorry not 80 30 people depend on the news agency this one they are saying this is CNN they are saying 30 uh, people get arrested in Iran for doing yoga and you are telling me you know religion should stand the questioning are those articles really legitimate can anyone question Islam you arrest people for doing yoga why what what is the problem because it's haram it's haram the prophet said the one who do something like the kuffar he is one of them here we go now those Muslims they became a, a Buddha uh, they are Hindus and what is the proof the prophet said <clears throat> So since when you Muslims you say let us uh, uh, allow questioning those are article meant to for 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 your mind as a, as a foreigner as non-muslim to fool you but who dare to question Islam I mean for me I don't really <clears throat> I don't encourage this yoga but it's uh, but this is something personal everybody is free if yoga we arrest for it so what we will not be arrest for Hmm? So here you notice right away. What about the the week before it? They arrested people for doing fashion. What's wrong? What about uh, women? She did the selfie and she she was singing, and we arrest her. What about the women? She was walking in the street and she showed her hair. What? If you allow a question, then you should allow them to question why I want to wear hijab. Why? She don't like to wear hijab. So you just say we can question. Okay. You don't allow anyone to question. If I ask those questions now in any Islamic countries, I will be killed immediately. So here you see right away how they try to fool you from the beginning, fabricating things which is not Islamic and have nothing to do with Islam. We wish any religion should be able to stand the questioning as if a questioning is allowed in Islam. You see how they lie to you? Everything can make sense, have been designed. So supposedly this guy is trying to make you believe in Allah. And why? Because everything um, uh, made sense. Okay, what about the design of Allah Himself? It, is it make sense that Allah have five fingers? 
does it make sense that Allah have two hands in the right side of him uh, as long as we are talking about design what does make sense when a Muslim he says it, it, it makes sense since when you Muslims make sense when you talk it does it make sense that if I believe in the Prophet I will get a lot of women for sex and they are wearing no panties does it make sense that Allah will make my private part in this does it make sense that the Sun set in murky water like the guy who was talking to me yesterday now you are talking about it makes sense but I like uh, the design of Allah to be honest to you would you uh, especially his hands both of them they are in the right side I wish I have two hands in the right side that would be nice you know because I can finish my book fast I'm a right-handed person I will be writing with two hands I mean now I know why Allah have two right hands <laughs> he's writing books he's not left-handed by having two hands or three hands or four hands all of them in the right that will make him hold like many pins in the same time and start writing like the book is finished that's fantastic it's so good to be true so when they say to us it makes sense it makes sense okay what is in Islam makes sense <clears throat> hmm The only sense I see in this article is the sense of a humor. Like this Muslim is trying to be serious, but I find it a comedy. You can divide object around you into two groups. Anyway, I'm not an atheist to, to discuss those things. The Big Bang did not happen on its own. The Muslim suddenly they decided they believe in the Big Bang. You see, we are Muslim, we are moderate. We believe in the Big Bang. Why? Because somebody told them Quran says Big Bang. Nowhere in the Quran says Big Bang, you liars. Where? The Quran says something stupid that Allah, he left up the sky. It was attached to the earth, but this is stupid. It's not lifted. Because the one, the author of the Quran said that the earth is a flat and the sky is a protected roof. The Muslim, they will say to you, see, protected roof that is the atmosphere no the Quran explained to us what is the protected roof is the Quran challenged mankind and the genie showing us the fairy tale uh, sense of a humor of Muhammad to go out of the zone of the earth <clears throat> and he says you cannot go unless Allah allow you and Allah will allow only the prophets or the angels Chapter 55, verse number 33. Oh, assembly of jinn and men, if it be ye can pass beyond the zones of the heaven and the earth, pass ye not without authority, shall ye be able to pass? Okay. And if you try to go to the space, Allah, he says to us, Allah will shoot the ass of Mr. Genie with the Star War missiles. And she's like, ah, it's hurting, it's hurting. The Muslims, they've tried to fool us, says this is about the atmosphere. This is the opposite. It's about we cannot leave from the earth, not the atmosphere. Atmosphere is you cannot get in, like it's protection for the earth. But still you can get in anyway. But you, it's a protection from the earth. But the Quran says, "Saqfan marfuwa protected roof, protected from what? You cannot leave it. You, a human and genie, cannot leave it. And by the way, what is the genie? I like to see some genie. And if Shaitan, he tried to get out, Allah will shoot him. Why Shaitan? He tried to get out. Is Shaitan trying to study science like NASA? No. Is shaitan tried to look at us from high space from the space no 
Shaitan, he liked to spy at Allah. Have you ever heard of such a religion <clears throat> that uh, Shaitan he tried to uh, uh, to spy at Allah? In chapter fifteen, verse number eighteen, it says, speaking about the Shaitan who tried to go up to the heaven. Uh, unbelievable. Look at this. Beautiful. Makes sense. The guy in the article talking about the design. This is a design. Allah, he designed the earth that genie cannot get out because genie will try to steal hearing from Allah. <clears throat> you see, why did the Democrat, when they accused Trump that he is uh, stealing hearing from the Russian, they did not accuse him that he was getting that from the genie? Because obviously, genie, they do that too. But at any that gains the hearing by stealth, from where? It's talking about the heaven. It is we who have set out a zodiacal signs in the heaven and made them fair seeming to all beholder. Now, the reason for the heaven to have stars is just because to be a decoration. Okay, and what is there is a reason? And moreover, we guarded the sky from every devil, cursed devil. If there's a cursed devil and there's a devil, is not cursed. <clears throat> Muslims, if there's a good devil, bad devil, good boy, bad boy. What does that mean? I mean, cursed devil. <clears throat> I thought all of them they are cursed. And then, but if any gain a hearing by his teeth, it pursued by a flaming fire. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's so good to be true. By the way, I heard that when NASA, they went to the sky, they've been followed by a star who tried to shoot them. Mm-hmm. Because in different verse in the Quran, and I allowed allow me to de demonstrate for you, but let me show you the verse first. You know, I'm very good in uh, uh, you know painting and drawing. Perfect. Now, there's many things about me I don't really like to share, and one of them is like one of my best uh, skills is is painting. I paint a lot of stuff. I paint uh, the garage. You can show it to you. Uh, here you will see. <clears throat> Allah said, and that makes sense, that Allah decorated the heaven by stars. And he put them in the lowest heaven. The Muslim, they say, the lowest heaven. No, they say to us uh, that uh, where you cannot go is where the atmosphere, brother. Allah, he says, in the lowest heaven, that's what you cannot go, which is attached to the earth. This is the lowest, is where the stars is. I mean, how smart Allah is. So in the lowest heaven, Allah, he made lamps, which is the stars. And those lamps have two decorations. Sorry, two reasons. One is to decorate, and the other one, we have made such a lamps as missiles to drive away the evil ones. I am really, really almost converting to Islam. And look at this. This is deep. This is deep. So now we learned from the logic of Allah and the knowledge of Allah. That stars are exist if shaitan try to steal information and try, or even the human, he try to go out of the zone of the earth, Allah will shoot him by a star. You know, as I remember, Muhammad he said that shaitan he sleep in our nose. Hmm. So why Allah he need a star to shoot a shaitan? Any 
Muslim have an idea? The one who sleep in my nose. <clears throat> Do he need such such a huge star to shoot him? Let us see. Where is the hadith about shaitan sleeping? The Prophet said, when one of you wakes up from the sleep, he must blow of his nose three times. For Satan spent the night inside one of his nostrils. That's so good to be true. Actually, I remember once my mom, I was sleeping, she told me she saw two shoes coming from my nose. Too bad at that time we don't have like cameras, you know. So we can recommend this fact. This is a fact. Okay, Yasin, wanna call me? Okay, hold on, Yasin. Let us uh, give me just a few minutes, Mister Yasin. I will I will uh, log in in Skype and you can call me. <clears throat> Do you see, guys? I mean, this is so beautiful. So here we notice that there is many reasons to convert to Islam. Who is who is the prophet before Muhammad? Who discovered that shaitan is sleeping our nose? Nobody. So shaitan, he is so small to the point he go inside our nose and he take a nap or he sleep the whole night and we don't feel him. But yet Allah, in order to stop shaitan from going to heaven, he shoot him by a star. Uh -huh. And how big the star is? What about shooting by a bullet? I can give you some. A star. A little tiny thing who sleep inside my nose, which means he's not even a mosquito, because if a mosquito go inside your nose, it will drive you crazy. You will feel it right away. Shaitan is sleeping in our nose, but we don't feel him. That means he's like what? He's nothing. He's so small to the point we don't even feel him, brother. Okay, we have a Muslim Muhammadan. He wanna call me. Uh, let me open Skype. Give me a second, please. <coughs> I think I'm going to have cold. You can tell my voice, right? I don't have cold usually. I don't know. Last time when I get cold, that was many years ago. Because you know what I do? Always I follow the recipe of Allah. Unbelievable. The beautiful recipe. Camel urine and take shower with dead dogs and we're in a blood from period. I stay healthy all the time. Okay, Yasin, I am in Skype now. What is your uh, what is your account, my friend, in Skype? Uh, Yasin. What is your account in Skype, my friend? Yeah, okay, hold on. All right, let me search for you. All right. <clears throat> Okay, Mr. Uh, Yasin, I just sent you hi. Uh, please respond. And feel free to call me if you wish to do so. Do you see it, Mr. Yasin? Let me call you. Hello. Hello. 
Steve. How are you? I'm fine, my friend. How are you? Man, man, man. You're my Ustaz. You know that? I am your what? You are my Ustaz. Ustaz. Oh, I'm your teacher. Yeah, you But are, you are a Muslim, you aren't you? the best teacher I have ever. I'm not a Muslim. Yeah, see, we agreed that we, we need Muslims to call us, my friend. Yeah, I, I actually have a question uh, on... Uh, my friend, I, don't I ask me, ask Muslim. Allah. Eh? Don't ask me, we have to ask Allah. Uh, Allah is all-knowing. Yeah. Allah is yeah. all-knowing. Anything you want to know, ask Allah. <laughs> like, what do you want to know? Yeah, this, where, is, where the sun set? Allah, he said, in a murky water. And this is proving to be accurate. What do you want? Tell me. No, the, no that one is fake, too. But my, my real concern, how those Muslim people don't understand about, um, if you know the, the, the story, Muhammad was, uh, Muhammad was walking from Mecca to Medina. No. And while he was walking, he, he had a pray with Jimmy, which is very silly, you know, if you know that story. Yeah, I know that story, that. but this is not a silly story, by the way, yeah. because me, myself, I met many Jimmy in, 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 in my life. I will tell you a story. <laughs> Once I was, yeah. I was in the airport, okay, and I <laughs> sat next to a kid. I bought a sandwich. I look and the right is gone. He took it. And that's what I call it a genie. I could not I could not talk to him because he's a kid, you know, and he starts eating it. So like this is a, he must be a genie, my friend. This is this is true, proving to be scientifically accurate. Yeah. He was like seven he, years old. So he uh, he took my sandwich and I did not do anything about it because he's just a kid. I let him eat it. But obviously he's a genie. Otherwise explain to me why this kid he ate my sandwich. Why my sandwich only? What what why not not steal sandwich? This is proving. Okay, what what else? <laughs> Yeah, so like if you have something like if you okay, so I used to be a Muslim before, and then you made me sad now. The teacher, uh, yeah, the teacher used to teach us, he said, when you left the Quran open, hmm. so the jinn or shaitan, I don't know what the difference between shaitan and jinn is, yeah. it's very funny. And then he said, if you left it open, it's not good, and uh what is called um, the gene of oh, the shit. I will come up and read it, and that is not good. They mm. read it so fast. They are very intelligent uh, <laughs> creature, mm. and it's funny. And that, what is what is that has to do, to do with Islam and, and having well, all those in the stories? Life, you see, it's, which it's, makes it yeah. Islam mm. is based on uh, in fictions and uh, superstitions, and this, uh, so it just you know terrorism is a main reason for Islam to exist. Which means I have to terrify exactly. you uh, to make you believe in Allah. Like, uh, why you need to make a prayer before you enter the bathroom? Because if you don't do that prayer, Shaitan will play with your anus, him and his wife. And even they will go inside your anus. So now, Muhammad, in order to make them pray and say his name, and say the name of Allah, he created a story that Shaitan, he will play with your anus, and this is the only way to protect your anus from Shaitan. Same as we, we, when we want to have sex. You know, so Muhammad, he want the Muslims to be busy. The five-time prayer, mm. you have to pray before you do anything, not only five-time prayer. Otherwise, shaitan will go inside your nose, shaitan will go inside your mouth, shaitan will play with your belly bomb, shaitan will go inside your anus, shaitan <laughs> will wrap yourself around your penis. Shaitan is all over your conspiracy religion. Conspiracy is based on making you a, a, a person who is occupied by phobia, and this phobia will control your life and will make you unable to think or to question. When you have a phobia, mm -hmm. you have a phobia, you are paranoid. You do not know what is right, what's wrong. Yeah, you know? I have, yeah, I have a phobia of Muhammad, actually. Yeah, I so, uh, 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 Yasin, I can't keep you for long. Do you want to say something to me? Because I thought, uh, I yeah, thought I, you are a Muslim. Yeah, By the way, no, why no, you leave no, now? I, I, what make you leave us now? Actually, me? Yeah? Oh yeah. Did um, you leave Islam after calling me, or what happened? I don't remember. No, okay. I actually, I actually don't know your channel, and I never followed you to be a Christian. Okay. And I never knew you, so there was I, I always wondered. You know, Yusuf is this the guy who used to be a Catholic, and now he's a Muslim. Yeah, he's a big fat liar. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So that guy, I, I, I search it online every time to prove Islam, so to see what people say. And then all of a sudden, this guy came up saying from darkness to brightness. So he came from Christian, Catholic to, to Muslim, which mm -hmm. makes him, oh, mm -hmm. right, oh, yeah, so this brightness. Okay, let's see, what's up? And I see him, everything he talks about is about this Muslim guy coming, he meets him, and he gave him some money. I don't know what he gave him, but he, he is Muslim. I don't know what he touched him. And um, his, what he, whatever he said is, doesn't make sense to me. And I saw this guy saying, Islam is false. And, and I, I watched that video and it makes me, oh, this is a cult. And I don't believe, and I, will not, I don't want to get 72 versions. That's you know, wonderful. Method. And whatever I'm they're happy saying. Let us go now to the topic. What do you want to say to us? Or your corner. Um, so I want to see if you can if you can show me a hadith or a Quran about uh, about the, 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 the Muhammad praying with uh, with this uh, genie and shaitan. Because I want to prove it to my family, show them they have to uh, live uh, this world. You know. Yeah. Okay. I will I will talk about that after we hang up with you. Thank you very much, Yasin. Just All right, you have a good time, okay? Just keep in people, and then I, I love what you're doing, okay? Yeah. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you very much, my friend. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, one of those reasons, supposedly, is to make us believe in Muhammad. And obviously, mm -hmm. it's a fabrication, and it's, it is silly. You know, the genies, they believe, and they heard the Qur'an. And not only that, when they heard the Qur'an, they say, Inna sami'na Qur'an an ajaba. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? If we go in the Qur'an, we will find the following. <clears throat> chapter 72, verse number 1. Actually, the chapter itself, it's called the chapter of the genie. The chapter of the genie. So the genie, uh, Muhammad, once he was going on a trip, and always those things happen to Muhammad when he's alone. There's no witnesses. Supposedly, the, supposedly the story says that the, his companion, they did not find him. He went supposedly to do pee-pee-poo-poo, and they did not see him for a while. When he came back, he said to them, I was with a bunch of genies, and those genies are coming from the north of Iraq. They are Assyrian, like our brother Sam Shamu. Actually, Sam, Sam Shamu, brother Sam Shamu, he looked like a genie. Actually. I never thought about this. Maybe he's one of them. Alhamdulillah. So uh, uh, he said, and I did read Quran for them, and they said when they heard the Quran that we heard amazing uh, Quran very amazing that's amazing and supposedly those genie right away they converted to Islam hmm. oh. if you read the chapter in front of you this is one of the most funny chapters which Muslims use for their fictions to fight genie like if you have a problem with the genie you read this chapter uh, can I uh, help you to translate uh, your book to the Turkish my friend just text me in Skype give me your ID in Skype you can give it to the admin and we we can discuss that in uh, in Skype <clears throat> but as you see here you know everything everything like here you see, we are talking about the genie trying to go out of the earth, but they cannot. Why? Look at this. The genie, they thought Allah will never send any prophets. Allah, he took them into surprise. Allah, he took them into surprise. They thought nobody is coming no more. That's it. And <coughs> supposedly, before Muhammad come and became a prophet, Genie used to be able to go to the heaven to steal the secrets of the heaven. Oh, there's no screen. Sorry, it's my fault. It's not, it's my genie. All right, no screen. 
All right, now you see my screen. By the way, uh, in case you do not know, uh, one of the uh, discovery and the knowledge of Allah is the internet. The Muslim, they say, even Muhammad, he predicted satellite. Hmm. The one who said shaitan sleep in your nose predicted satellite. Okay, so here you will see that the genie, this is the chapter of the jinn, as we say, chapter 72, verse number one. All of the chapter is about genie, supposedly. All right. The genie they heard recitation of Muhammad. Muhammad he sat with them, and even they have fire together. I don't know why the genie they would have fire. They are made of fire. They are cold. Hmm. And then, uh, and they decide to be guided. That said, they convert to Islam. They hear the recitation, and they say, "That's amazing. I will convert to Islam." And here we have to assume that genies are Arab. Because they are speaking to Muhammad, and Muhammad he speak only one language, and they heard the sh the, the Quran, and the Quran is in Arabic, and the genie they said, some of our foolish ones among us, who use, uh, you know, to say uh, lies about Allah. You see, there's bad genies. There's good genies and bad genies. So the bad genies, they say lies against Allah. And then, uh, and uh, we think that us, we uh, we are, you know, we will not say any lies against Allah. Okay. Uh, true, they were a person among mankind who took a shelter with the person among the jinn. But they increase uh, them in fully. <laughs> yeah, uh, yesterday the guy who spoke to me he said the Quran is so clear hmm. and uh, they claim uh, they thought that nobody uh, you know uh, nobody Allah will send hmm. okay uh, Yasin don't send me questions my friend we have a topic don't text and don't text me in Skype. Otherwise, I will block you. Don't text me in Skype. You have a question? You can ask ask in the in the chat. The same as the rest. Uh, see, you disturb my my topic. Now you just asked me a question. We did not finish. You asked me a second question. Shouldn't we finish the first one? Are you guys uh, suffering from the flight of thought like Muhammad? Focus. Focus, don't be like the Mohammedan. They are suffering from the flight of thoughts, the same as Allah. So they thought, and uh, Allah will never send anyone. Okay, now Muhammad is being sent. What happened? The second Muhammad became a prophet. The sky is not allowed for any genie to go through. We wanted to go to the sky as usual. Always we go to the sky, always to steal information. But since the Prophet he became a prophet, we cannot go there because now Allah He put a lot of guards. <laughs> and you are telling me there's no reason to convert to Islam. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? <clears throat> Is that we are why we should convert to Islam? Those funny, stupid stories. And we use indeed sit there hiding in the stations. The genie they sit hiding in the state. You see, you tell us that the the Russian they are they have a spaceship station. <laughs> the genie have one long time ago. Look at this. We use indeed to sit there in hiding between hiding between bracket. This is not in the Quran. Just stations to steal information. The Russian, the Russian man, the Russian are genie. They steal information from Allah. What is that?
what is that this is the chapter of the genie chapter 72 Any Muhammadan? Hello? Who is a Muslim here believe in this? I'm just trying to find a reason, you know, to convert to Islam as the Muslims they say to us. Like there's a million reason, thousand reason, whatever reason. Yeah, all the reason I found them funny and silly. What reasons? I don't find one, not even one legitimate reason. Anyone? So those articles, which Muhammad and they write for us and they post in the internet, you know, they are like a funny, silly. It's not even good for kids. What is that? Huh? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to give me a call? No Muslim. Yesterday, uh, we have a, a Muhammadan who called me, and his name was uh, what was his name? Uh, Noor, Noor. Uh, Mr. Noor, he called me yesterday, and Mr. Noor, uh, he is a very deep knowledge, very very deep. Uh, actually, I was really. Uh, obviously he's a big shake you know he's a big big shake you can tell there's many ways to know who is a big shake who is a small shake this guy is a big shake you know so mr noor he called me and uh, we were talking about almost the same topic uh and he said this let us see what he said okay mr noor here we go. Hey, Salam Alaikum. Wa Alaikum as Salam, Mr. Noor. How are you? Hold on one second. Let me uh, mute your, your stream. Okay, can you hear me? I do hear you. Please just uh, be sure you mute YouTube so we don't have duplicate of voice. Yeah, one second. Let me uh, put on my headphones, actually. God will. All right. Keep YouTube right yeah, moment, but, uh, just to mute the sound. I think it's actually coming from my speakers and not your your YouTube because I already muted it. So yeah, all right. So so, so what what do you want to say to us, Mister? No. Well, so I think we should keep it organized a little bit. So if you want to just ask me a few questions, whatever you think about Islam, I can answer it, God willing, and then I can just a ask you questions and we can kind no, of. No, I don't want to ask you the questions. I want you to tell me something good about Islam. Anything. Uh, feel free. How you can convince you? Because we have like eight hundred Christians maybe listening. And uh, God knows how many later as thousands will listen to this, and we are like in the truth. How you can prove to those Christians that Islam is from God? Yeah, that's fine. So the core teaching of Islam is to reverence God alone, submit to God, and to do good and be righteous, as it says over and over in the Quran, and it forbids evil. Mm. And uh, clearly says that those who believe and do good works will go to paradise, God willing, and uh, hell is the abode of the criminals. The main teaching. Mm. So what everything falls under in Islam. So is is, and, uh, is, there is is good work including you beat them up and that will give them deeds to go to paradise. Beat you up. Yeah, like here the hadith in front of us here it says that the Prophet saying that the one who he beat him up he made a condition with Allah that he will give him reward. So the Prophet he beat you or even he curse you or even he said a bad word to your mother or your father, like you know dirty language. And that will give you a blessing from Allah, and obviously that will take you to heaven. 
Is that the way to go to heaven? No, that doesn't, no, that doesn't make any sense. And I don't follow hadiths, and uh, I don't believe them anyway, because there's no way to verify them. They were just no, this written is, hundreds this of is, years after he was gone. No, this is Sahih. Okay, uh, so you believe in the Quran nah. only? You don't believe in the hadith? Yeah, I, oh, no, nah, because uh, the Quran is from God. Hadiths were just invented by men for what they thought that they heard him say. They're additional books, and there's no way to really verify okay. whether or not he said that. All right. What about the Quran? Not if, if there's any way to verify that he said anything in the Quran? What is what is the proof that the Quran is from God anyway? How you can prove to so us I'm okay. that the Quran is from God? Well, uh, you, you said you want to verify. Yes. How you can verify? Well, I don't think that there's a way to prove it. 100% I believe it is however there is some evidence that it is like what? just based off what it teaches well like the prose and how it's written how clear it is how it clear um, just the overall style I don't know the yeah Quran how says, clear it is my friend as I know the Quran says nobody understand the Quran save Allah so how clear it no. is well, it says it's a, in a clear Quran I know you can hear the typing but I'll find the uh... no problem take your time yeah, so 3669, in the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful, we do not teach him poetry, nor does he need it. This is a reminder in a clear Quran, and he tells us to think and to reflect about it. Um, at the same time, so 36, 39, correct? It says that the Quran is a clear, correct? 36, 36, 69, yeah, it's a clear, 59, clear Quran. 59? 36, 69, 36, 69, 69. Okay, sorry. All right. So here the Quran, okay. the Quran is so clear, correct? Yeah, there are some ayat in there that are purposely not clear, but purposely. What is in that general? Mean? It's a clear Quran. What do you mean? Well, three seven. Well, three three seven explains it best. So it says, "He is the one who sent down to you the book from which there are law giving revelations. They are the essence of the book, and others which are of a similitude. As for those who have disease in their hearts, they will follow that which is of a similitude, seeking to confuse and seeking to derive their interpretation, but none know its interpretation except God. Those who are well founded in knowledge, they say, We believe in it, all is from our Lord, and none will remember except those who possess intelligence. So, however you interpret of a similitude, so it's saying it is a clear Quran, and those who are well founded in knowledge will understand it, who are guided by God. But there are also no, some that say, can misinterpret it. Doesn't say that. it doesn't say that. It says that those who they are not understand that those who believe they say that those who have knowledge they will say we believe so to can be considered as a scholar of islam is not about understanding it's about saying i believe which means that doesn't make sense no, knowledge is so important three seven says and those who are well founded in knowledge so it's true that we believe in it i have belief as well there is some faith like believing in okay, god because we can't prove, see them but we still have knowledge let us let us approve what you just said in the same chapter, I'm not going to ask you from different chapter, chapter 36. And you are the one who said to me, this chapter here, saying to us, or this verse 69, saying that Allah, he made the Quran very clear, correct? Right. All right. So how the Quran says, in the same chapter, that, uh, and the sun runs into its own course. What is Which that? one is that? The same chapter. I mean, I've read, chapter I've read the Quran over five times, but I haven't memorized yet. So yeah, no problem. Chapter thirty-six. The same me. chapter you gave me. Verse oh, I see. Yeah, thirty-six. Verse 38. number thirty-eight. Okay. As long as you say to us, the Quran is so clear. Okay. What does that mean? The the sun run. Do the sun run? Well, it says the sun runs to a specific destination. Okay. What is the best? Such as the design what, of the noble. The what, noble. Is, what, what is that? Well, it's what we see. I mean, we see the sun in the sky. It's the same destination every time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's but, a specific so, destination. But, but this means Allah is wrong because uh, the sun is not running away. So Allah, he see as we see or he see different? Well, just, uh, that's petty semantics. I mean, it's running in an orbit. Yeah, but he's talking, about, say run but he's talking orbit. about... He's talking about, you just said how we see the sun. That's mean that the sun sitting, sunset, sun, sunrise, correct? I mean, you can say that water is running. You know, is that wrong? No, the water, not is, wrong. Running. Yes, water is, running. is running. No, water is running. If it's running, it doesn't literally run. No, it doesn't. It doesn't literally run, no, just like the sun. It moves. No, no, no. It does. It just does. The, sun. the water runs. The water moves from A to B. Water has legs. You're saying that water no, no, can no, no. run with legs. Water no, no. doesn't have, have legs. My friend, it doesn't running, run. Running have nothing to do. And I'm with saying 
running have to do nothing to do with okay just remember remember first of all you are not reading the quran in uh, uh, quran is not meant to be in english in arabic it says tajuri. it actually is tajuri, tajuri. no it's in arabic tajuri. Hmm? yeah i know the word tajuri, it's mean yeah, you run you run it, it's running from location to location now you said and you agreed that this is about how we see the sun so Allah speaking here about the sun setting, the sun rising, but this is absolutely false. The sun does not set, the sun yes, does it, not rise. All, all it says is that it runs to a specific destination, and what is running that? is what interpreted is the same way that the same way that water is running. <coughs> okay, it moves to a certain a certain but, destination, okay, which okay. it does every single day. It's go, just a, all right. If we go just a, a, a two verses down, we can read the verse before. You can read, read the verse before it and the moon. Uh, after it have measured in their mansion the Quran believe that the moon have mentions and this is what the religions before believe that the, the moon uh, he have mentions he live in the places and he move from place to place and people even the Sabian they used to go and uh, when the moon disappear uh, they go to the second town to welcome him in the other town because this is a new moon now here you notice that the moon have houses and he says to you, and he run in the old way, as it was in the old way. But this is not true. I mean, this is false. Now, if you go in verse number 40, it says, It's not permitted for the sun to catch up the moon, nor can the night outstrip the day. Each just swim along in its own orbit. Is that correct? Yeah, swimming, swimming in an orbit. But let's take one thing at a time. Um, it's also in quote the Quran correctly and not just interpret it, like not just use your own words every time. So 36, 39 says, and the moon we have measured it to appear in stages until it returns like an old palm sheath, which it does. It's like the different stages of the moon, which is... But he normal. says it's living mansions. And is that true? There's mansions for the moon? The, no, I say that in the Quran. It says? It says it appears. It says? No. It's in front of us. Everybody can read. I'm, re I'm reading your Muslim translation, not my translation. Yeah, which which one are you talking about? Thirty six, thirty nine. Yes. Yeah, it says, and the moon we have new appearance stages. Right. So if you want to read from the one what that I read from, it's what from translation? The what, translation. What translation you are reading? Here, I'll post it in chat. It's you can Google. It. It's called a monotheist translation. Otherwise, you can go here. Monotheist. To, uh, what does that mean, monotheist? Yeah, monotheist means one monotheist. That's what we, are. we reference one God. That, that is a new form. The monotheist. Let me see if we have it here. Yeah. Monotheist. It says it in it as well. It talks about monotheism. No, okay. Yeah, but my friend, do you speak, I, I, do you speak Arabic? Uh, only some. I don't speak it fluently yeah, because it's not my own. I mean, but I should learn it. This translation is absolutely false, my friend. It says, mm. So it says the word manazil. So how this guy who ever translated this translation, he said, you can copy this word manazil as you see in the screen. Post it in Google and you will see it mean houses or mansions. So this is a false translation. Well, there's lots of translations that translate it that says the moon we have measured it to appear in stages. And okay. Arabic is a rich language and doesn't have a single no problem. word definition okay. all the time. My friend, my, my friend, you said I just have to give wrong interpretation. So how we can give interpretation for the Quran according to you? How do you interpret the Quran? Well, you should be, you should think for yourself and ask God for knowledge and wisdom, and also okay. consider the opinions you could of not others. Me. And you could not answer me. You are the one who said to me, "You gave me verse number 13, I remember. Uh, Thirty-six, thirty-nine. Sorry, uh, uh, yeah. It, so, which one are you talking about? Saying to me that the Quran is so clear, the same chapter, right? But here I'm asking you now, how Allah He says such a thing that the sun run into its course? You could not answer. You said that uh, we see the sun every day. No, I did answer it. It yeah. does run its course. So no, it runs it to its destination every day. It earth. runs the same way that water. The earth, the earth is going around it itself. It's not less. The earth, no. the, the earth goes around itself. This is how the day happened. No. The no? sun rotates. It runs to a specific destination, just like it says. It's like water, okay. a okay, river so, can so, run to a destination. Okay, so the, right. uh, okay, according to you, when the sun uh, is set every day, it's not the earth going around itself. This is the sun going from point A to point B from east to west. Yeah, and even no matter what you believe about it is also speculation. There's no point even debating that because mm -hmm. you have no way to measure what it's doing besides what you can observe on earth, earth 
or what you trust what others say because you have no experience experiment that you can do for yourself okay. to determine what it's actually doing. You know what I mean? So it's pointless to argue about that. So, but you're, there's you're, no way for okay. either ones to No prove problem. It. I will not argue about that. But you just confirm, and everybody heard you, that according to you, according to the Quran, as you understand it, the sun every day mm -hmm. goes from the east to the west. Correct? Well, it's it's. Uh, how do I say it? There, there's no, it's nitpicky. I mean, the sun wrote it, does its course every single day. Just like it says, it runs to a specific destination every day, mm, okay. you know, and has its cycles. I mean, there's nothing more to really argue about in that okay. sense. You know? So, so okay, the point okay, so now we, uh, we, you know, I'm not going to argue about well, this is your opinion. And you think it looked like, you know, you know better than me about science. But the Quran says, as long as you agree that the sun goes from point A to point B every day, some morning, uh, afternoon and night, the Quran says that the sun sit in the murky water. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, so before, so I'll, I'll continue to answer, God willing, but I also want to ask you a few things as well. So for now, I'm letting you talk about the Quran and ask about the Quran, which I'm fine with, but I also wanted to discuss Christianity and a few things that you might believe no as well. Problem, but you know, our, so, topic, our topic is Islam, but I don't know why you want to change. Well, it's Islam and Christianity because you're a Christian. It's not just no Islam. No problem, no so problem. You, let, us, let us finish yeah. this. So, so now right. the suns run every day from A to B, according to you. And mm -hmm. then the sun sit in the murky water, chapter 18, verse number 86. Yep, I know what you're talking about. Let me read it again. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, until he reached the setting of the sun, he found a setting at a hot spring, and he found people near it. We said, oh, two horn one, even you shall punish, and you shall do them good. I don't know what this means. I don't know what God means by it. But uh, this because the Quran is clear. You're told that, that, the Quran, you told that the Quran is clear. It is clear. Okay. But that doesn't mean that anyone, well, there's some things that God teach that we haven't learned yet. And nobody on this earth might know yet. So what do you mean what you learn? know? A second ago you told me that the well, sun, the sun well, just, goes every day from point A to point B, which everybody knows. Well, just like you. Go ahead. What are you saying? Everybody knows that what you said to me a minute ago, the sun does not go anywhere. The sun does not set. And you said, no, this is what happened. And everybody right. in the chat don't agree with you. This is scientifically already proven to be false. So the Quran, oh, according to you, the Quran is a false book, teaching such a false information. And now we are showing you Allah saying the sun set in the murky water. And instead of saying to me, I agree with Allah, yes, the sun swim every day and sit in the murky water. And maybe this is what it's meant, that the sun run in its course. As you said, this is the course of the sun. Every day, go from the east to, to the to the west, and then jump in the muddy, dirty, hot water. Well, so the first we're talking about running to a specific specific destination. There's no problem with that, even if some people disagree. It, it runs to a specific destination, as I've explained like four times. There's nothing wrong with that. It's mm. Exactly what it says. That's clear. Mm. As far as 1886, it can be interpreted well how it says. So it says until he reached the setting of the sun. He found it setting at a hot spring, which means he could be at a hot spring and he found it setting. Mm. It's, you know, even if things are perfectly clear, some people might interpret things different ways. Okay, Just like the Bible, you don't understand no, everything no, that the no, Bible might say. No, 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 interpretation, no, no, no. It's clear. Okay, hold on. Here, if we go here, it says, who, first, who is the one who's talking in this verse? Who is it talking about? Who is talking? No, who is talking? Who is the one saying until he reached? When he reached, who's talking? Well, it's the word of God, so it's God talking. Okay, so Allah it's, is it's talking. Specific. Yeah, Allah is talking. Yeah, Allah, He says, until He, until when He, so He's talking about what? Talking about someone else. Until someone else. Okay, until is what? Is about timing, correct? Timing and location. Until when He reached the sitting of the sun. How He can reach that? Where is that? Yeah, I don't know, but he did actually get to where it sets. You know, this idea that it just is a million miles away is nonsense, and I don't believe that, and neither of us can prove it either. You can believe what people tell you if you want to believe it without proof. No, 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 you see, I'm but talking to you, my friend. You I'm, I'm talking to you. I don't care about what people will tell me. I'm trying to find out from you what you believe in this. You said the Quran is... Well, a it can be for you. It can be figurative as well. Okay, reaching the setting of the sun. No, 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 no. Like, it says, my friend, yeah, until you reach that. Time. No, my friend, listen carefully. Look, 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 let me let me explain to you. Here it says he is reporting. Allah is reporting a story about his a man. His name is Zuhormain. And this guy, he keep walking. He follow a road. 
and this is took him years and then when he reached the sitting place of the sun he found it set in a spring of murky water so now Allah is reporting for us supposedly what is a fact he is telling us things we do not know what happened to a guy who passed in time before us correct mm -hmm. okay so okay. when he say he found the sitting place of the sun where is that how that how that can be true the sun set everywhere look what he said it doesn't set everywhere it goes yes. below the, the horizon that's all we know or it sets in a literal spring no 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 my friend. so you believe that the sun set in the water according to you i don't believe it but i think that it could be possible according to this i mean uh, that's how you could interpret it that's possible so uh, according to mr noor that it's possible that the, the sun set in the murky water and goes from the in a hot spring rest, in a hot hot Not water murky. okay uh, actually yeah. uh, yes it's hot you agree with you because the water well, does <laughs> say dark uh, hamia, yeah. hamia i mean two things by the way hamia is a is a you know when they make um i don't know what they call it in uh, in english like when they, okay. make, when they make the bricks you know what i mean so the okay. the water of that brick you know it have to be uh, hot and then even the brick itself they, they burn it after that so uh, the quran confirmed that the sun every day goes and jump in that pool which is a spring of murky water but how big the sun is the sun and how how big this uh, spring of murky water the sun is so big do you think the sun is like a small lamp or something well it's definitely not as big as they teach us because it's also the same size as the moon besides when it's uh, being viewed through like the atmosphere and it's distorted when the low but when it's like up in the sky it's the same size and this idea of that there these extreme distances apart is ridiculous that it's just like so you, so you so you don't know how big it is so nobody does unless okay. again you so you think you think like there maybe the sun it's like in this small and jump in the swimming pool because it's a spring of water how big is going to be well we're concerned that i mean look how big the earth is yeah it's not let me ask you this spring of water is where is it in the earth we don't know it's wherever the sun sets but the quran is clear about. nobody knows where it is but the quran is clear it, it is clear, but it's not an encyclopedia of everything. Mm. Just like you okay. know, the Bible is, it doesn't okay. explain every single thing. Because all right, that's enough. So as you see, this is one of the reasons to convert to Islam. It make you look like a fool, and you will talk as a fool, and you will become a fool. This guy, God knows how old is he. He believe in what is written in the Quran that yes, yes, the sun jump every day go all the way from the east go to the west and there's a place where the sun set and that place is a dirty hot water now you still don't want to convert to islam don't you want to think the same way don't you want to earn the same knowledge don't you want to be smart don't you want to when you like Imagine how it feels to be this like to, to be this guy. He's talking and there's hundreds of people listening to him saying the sun jump every day wearing her bikini and jump in the swimming pool, which is hot water. For sure, it's going to be hot water. You think the sun is poor? She will not be able to find the jacuzzi. Are you kidding me? And here you see the healthy style of the sun. The sun every day jump in jacuzzi i mean how many of us can afford that or have some such a luxury that what islam can do to you you convert to islam immediately you put your brain on the shelf if you don't dump it in the sink now do we have any muslim would like to give us a call Do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? Anyone? Uh, by the way, uh, somebody in the chat said uh, yesterday in the text uh, of the video, he said, uh, Christian Prince, when the, when the guy, he said to him, do you agree with the Bible saying, etc.? Christian Prince right away he says I agree so he would not allow him to ask the question well, how, how foolish of you and he asked me the question 
and the question was do you agree I said I agree <laughs> you see this is different between the Muslims and us the Muslims 99.9 .9 of them always they try to fabricate meaning to fabricate articles about Islam to fabricate stories change the meaning because obviously they are ashamed of their book. Well, we don't, we are not. I agree. Do you agree? Who is a Muslim here? He agree with his God. For me, you know, I like to convert to Islam because simply. I like to see women bones. I don't know. I, I think I have an obsession with women bones. Imagine you have a wife. Actually, sorry, not wife. Many of them. Actually, they are not even wives. They are created just for sex, which means you don't even know them. Allah, brother, he will give us women who we can see through the marrow of their bones. You know? If you if you look if you if I show you now like I want to cook I like always to buy meat have bones see I told you I have obsession with bones I don't know why and even it is good really you know the soup is so good so here Allah he knew your need he knew what is the beauty he will give you women who you can see the marrow of their bones it's so good to be true so beautiful so amazing and that is additional reason to convert to Islam why you don't want to convert to Islam give me a reason there is no reason here we go science we have logic we have uh, beauty we have I mean who can beat such a promise of a beauty women which are transparent so good to be true you will be sitting in your couch according to Allah and women in front of you very sexy look this uh, this girl here she is saying uh, she is sexy and you know it so we have a God who promised us such a beautiful promises. Look at this. Oh my. Women in heaven, we will see the marrow of their bones. What is the maximum beauty you can have or you desire to have as a man? I mean, who can beat that? And you are telling me there's no reason to convert to Islam. Look at this. I'm really, I cannot look. I mean, I'm, I'm being tempted now. This is so beautiful. I don't know what she have here. Is that poo poo? Is that poo poo? Uh, maybe. So it's so beautiful, brother. Mm. Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? I mean, your prophet, he could not really give us a promise better than this. We will see the marrow of the bones of the women. Why? I mean, are we zombie? So when the prophet, he speak, is he even imagining what he just told us? Like, did he draw an image in his head of what he just said? beautiful pure transparent transparent the women in the heaven they will be transparent they will see the marrow of the bones even the marrow not only the bones no 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 you go deeper deep in even the marrow of their bones i mean look at this I guess those who work in the security in the airport, they are in heaven already. I guess. They see this all day long.
Do we have any Muhammadan want to tell us something useful to convert us to Islam? Anyone? This is why I find it funny when a Muslim speak about the logic, the reasoning to convert to Islam. Yeah, the reasoning. Here we go. People, they are doing yoga and we arrest them. For doing what? For doing yoga. What is the reasoning? I will tell you. Because this is not Islamic. You see the, the beautiful reasoning of Islam? It's not Islamic to do yoga. So what we do? We arrest you for doing yoga. We arrest you for singing. We arrest you for playing chess. Actually, the first bicycle arrived to Saudi Arabia. This is a long time ago. Was arrested. Why? Because they accused this bicycle to be the bike of the genie. You know when you when you hear those news you feel like you are coming in the cave time I mean what is that man like what the crime the people did they did yoga a woman she recorded herself. we have a call hello hello can you hear me Yes, uh, truth, Islam, truth. You still a Muslim? Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum as You still a Muslim? Alhamdulillah. Why are you still a Muslim? Uh, brother, uh, after all what I, I showed I you, you still a Muslim? What, what what's happening with brother, you? I've I've watched those videos and I've made I've I've literally made a list. Okay. And then I've refu refuted every argument in that list, but okay. I can't uh, give you that now because I have to go in twenty minutes. So I want just to come real short. I want to. Um, um forward you to the quran five five can you read that please quran five five okay yes this is a very powerful but talk about women this and is, stuff but is, if you look at is, this yeah it will yeah. refute that whole okay but, but hold on you said you refuted everything i told you yes why you don't why, why you wouldn't do it now say again why oh you no you was you was just talking with um about that uh who, who is the one women who, refuted stuff, me? Right? who is the one refuted me you I've, I've brought our arguments who is the one refuted me you i've asked the scholars shakes and stuff and brothers the scholars I mean, okay where are they my friend where are they here we go we are waiting for them i told you to let your scholar call me how they refute me without talking to me but i, I can't do it right now because no, but i, I want i want minutes. to hear the refutation my friend say again brother i want to hear the refutation you made a lot of uh, claims right when we were talking okay, okay. which one which, I'll, I'll, which, which one of the claims again? i made and they refute give me one you remember at least one i refer to one what you just said just five minutes ago which one um with the women as of if we read quran five five with the women what about the women you say yeah we muslims only want women that's why islam and stuff yes and then we got even the we verse you just gave, even, even the verse you so just gave me proving islam is nothing but about women read the verse for me this is the verse you choose for me this is a horrible verse read it quran 5 5 yeah read it right let me see it, brother hmm. um so it begins with uh this day all good foods have been made right well for hmm. Is, is it on your screen? Yes, in the screen. All right. <laughs> and the food of those who were given the scripture is lawful for you, and your food is lawful for them. Mm. And lawful in marriage are chaste women from among the believers, and chaste women from among those who were giving the scripture before you when you have given them their due compensation, desiring chastity, mm. uh, not, unlaw not unlawful sexual intercourse or taking secret lovers. Hmm. Okay. And whoever denies the faith, are his book has uh, become worthless, and they okay. after will be among the losers. Okay. So you are saying to me this verse saying don't be unlawful uh, sex. 
Yes, it okay. says. Uh, but okay, but Islam, my friend, when we say unlawful, we need to know what is lawful. It is lawful to hire a woman for one night or two night stands in Islam. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So how you say to me, Islam is against having sex around, and you just agreed that you can hire a woman for one night to sleep with you, and you pay. Oh no, 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 no! I thought, I thought unlawful means you just do it one night. One night. I mean, uh, you only can do with the married one. No, no. What married? Here we go. This is your prophet says, not me, that anyone, if a man and a woman agree. Between two brackets, this is your Muslim translation. Marry temporarily. Did you marry temporarily before? No. Okay. Did you rent a? Did you ever rent a car? But it's not. It's not good if you marry and then leave after two days. No, he's saying you can read it. This is a. This is a Sunni. This is a Sunni uh, hadith. This is Sahih Bukhari. Any man, any woman, they agree to do boom boom for three days, three nights. It's okay. And if they like to increase, they increase. You, you just told me Islam is uh, encourage only lawful sex. Okay, this is the lawful sex. So what is lawful in Islam is adultery. This is adultery. You hire a Can woman, I and not only that, you have to pay her money. You have to pay her money. Do you know that you can rent a woman in Islam? <clears throat> rent women in Islam? Yes. You mean uh, like when you? Uh, when Muslims have seized the city and then the men are dead and then women are left and then taking the women What women In Islam you can <laughs> rent a woman in Islam yes. you can rent a woman any woman you wish any man he wish to rent He can rent a woman. Yes or no? no, no. You, you can't just uh, go outside and then just take one and then say I'm gonna rent you and you can't do anything Well, if he, if she agree, yeah, if she agree, that's it me, what me, happened let, when you rent her? Okay, you sleep with her. She's rented. You rent. You are rent. You are renting her private part. This is your Islamic website. Okay, explaining how you can rent a woman. Here you will see the Muslims with no shame saying that yes, this is rental. I'm just going to show you what yeah. you Muslims say for this kind of relationship. It says. But we can't shake hands oh, with hold on, hold on. Yeah, so we Yeah, we cannot shake hands with the women women. before we pay them. After we pay them, they are rented. We can shake their hands. We can shake anything we want. Read carefully. In some work, special term is applied to uh, to women who participate in muta, muta, mut, musta'jara, musta'jara, <laughs> or rented, yes. rented women. Do you see the word rented women? Rent yeah, in, in uh, orange. Okay. Do you see the word rented? I'm, I'm highlighting, you see? Rented. Yes. Okay. Rented women, muta is considered as a kind of rental because, in general, a man's basic aim in this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment with the women. And in return for his enjoyment, the women should receive a certain amount of money or property. So you just say to me, you are refuting me, and you gave me a verse saying it is lawful for you to do sex only if it's lawful. Okay, this is lawful. So what is lawful in Islam is nothing but adultery. This is prostitution. You hire a woman to take off her panty. She take off her panty. This is lawful. It's lawful. You rented her. Is it Sahih? My friend, the hadith I showed you, this is Sahih Bukhari. What's wrong with you? And this is from the Quran, chapter 4, verse 24. Chapter 4 verse 24 says if you sleep with the women if you want to have sex with the women Pay them wages for you enjoy yet yet what her vagina So you are saying to me. I will refute me. Okay in Islam says you can you can only do lawful uh, uh, Lawful sex, but lawful sex in Islam is adultery So all what Muhammad did he changed What is not right? And he make it right, and that make you think now it's right to have to rent a woman. No, but if the Quran says you can't okay, do adultery, and then hold in the hadith it says this is, uh, what what adultery? This is Quran. Quran. This is, Quran. This, is, Quran. This, is Quran. this is Quran. This is Quran, chapter four twenty four. Let me ask you another question. If you divorce your wife three times, is it true that your wife she have to sleep with the new guy before she can come back to you? Divorce it three times, yeah. 
no 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 what no 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 i saw that in the in in the in the tv you know it's uh, it was a uh, like a, a movie you don't believe in that a movie yeah uh, it, because it's true uh, everything we see in the movie like don't you watch the sylvester stallone you know he shoot everybody he never get injured it's not a movie style so what do you <laughs> what do you mean? So, some movies are true okay some what, are, what do you uh, mean fictional. what do you mean no 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 are you saying it's it is it is wrong to for a woman in order to get back to her husband if he divorced her three times she have to sleep with someone else are you saying this is this now, is disgusting i don't know maybe the bible says this because uh, if you divorce a woman okay if the um, bible says that do you agree that this is disgusting? Times, if the bible is the one saying that do you agree that this is disgusting i mean i mean that means uh, there's some doubts then coming up that's disgusting but, right? but, that's disgusting i agree with you okay but the, the one who says that is, the, know, you is, the not, tables, is not is not the bible <laughs> it's the quran my friend it's the quran saying nah, that nah. The Quran saying that here we go. Just clearly say, that? Yes, say that. The Quran, the, Quran, the Quran saying that here we go. A chapter two, verse number two thirty. If a man he divorce a woman after you know he divorced her three times, she is not lawful for him unless she go and sleep with someone else. What kind of religion is this religion? So now I divorce my wife three times. I want to get her back. No, she cannot. She have to go sleep with a new husband, and then she can come back to you. What is that? Which verse is this again? Chapter two, verse number two thirty. By the way, if I you ever said... divorce your wife, there is a there is an office. I can give you the number. You call them. They will they will find you a guy who can sleep with the wife you divorce if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do it. I mean, you pay them money. He will stay for your wife, just uh, like a charity thing. But he will, he will paid. I'm serious. In, <laughs> in Egypt, in Saudi Arabia, they have an office. It's called Al Mujahish, which means the donkey who sleep with your wife just to make her lawful for you to come back again. So you say to me, Islam says don't do any unlawful sex, but this is lawful sex. Oh, but, but when the guy yeah, is gonna marry uh, the woman, is he also gonna have uh, intercourse or only just marry and sure then? Sure, he have to have. Inter not only he have to in have intercourse, he have to test her juice. Do you know what juice mean? Juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her orgasm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What kind of a prophet, by the taste way? Taste it. Yeah, he have to taste it. No, th that's not in the Quran. Okay, but this is where we where we can find that. Do you know? Second brother, where we can find this? Is that true that the prophet he encouraged you that this woman, such a woman, she have to test your juice, which is your sperm, and you have to test her juice, which is her orgasm. I don't know. I don't think so. What do you mean? I don't know. It's in the front of us on the screen. Wait, the prophet let me, let me said. Screen. The messenger asked about a man who divorced his wife and she married another man who had to close meeting with her blah 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 and then he divorced her so look what happened some Muslim men they start doing this okay he divorced his wife and now he asked his friend can you marry her and just don't sleep with her you know just marry her and then send her to me divorce her I will marry her the prophet he said it's not principle for you to do that she have to taste her you have to taste her juice and she have to test your juice This the screen isn't open. Give, give me a second. Let me open the screen, brother. Mm. By the women, do women have juice? Are you Muslim marrying orange or something? Because I saw a fatwa, a Muslim, he can marry a watermelon. So maybe this is what's happening here. What juice? Don't faint on me. What happened? Are you there? Are you shocked or what? We hang up. <laughs> hey, brother, I refuted all your claim. You are right. 
If a Christian prince debate with a Christian prince, he will lose. I assure you. I don't even dare to debate myself. Very embarrassing. He hang up. Call me back, Truth. Call me back. Juice? What is that? Hey, brother, she cannot go back to her previous husband, brother, because you have to test her juice and she have to test your juice, brother. If we ask Zach and Nick about this, what he will say? Uh, Dr. Zach and Nick, why Allah, he said in the Quran, that a woman, if she got divorced, she have to go and sleep with someone else before she can go back to her husband. And the Prophet said, uh, she have to taste his juice and she have to taste his juice. First of all, let me confirm to you that this story is true. And this is exact in the Quran. And there is a logical number of your dictates. And I will tell it to you. Imagine a guy who divorced his wife three times. Obviously, he's an idiot. Otherwise, why he divorced his wife three times? As an example, I divorced my wife two times. When I read the number three, I have to think about it. Because now, if I divorce my wife three times, he has to sleep with the Christian prince. And then I can get her back. So I'm not going to the Christian prince to sleep with my wife. Uh, that is the reason the poor woman she is not the one who divorced the husband she is the victim not the not the criminal why Allah allowed the man even anyway to make divorce so easy so he just said divorce divorce you are divorced that's it one word even now they allow divorce by text message because in Islam it is no marriage it's a contract for sex you can dissolve marriage by a text yes by a text because it is not really a marriage it's a boyfriend girlfriend stuff the difference is there's a contract and you have to pay her where is the religion here and where is the dignity in Arabic here it says حتى يذوق الآخر عسيلتها عسيلتها وتذوق عسيلته. Okay. If you remember once uh, a Moroccan guy, he called me and he said, "Asila, which is the juice, it is not her sperm. Hello, it's not." So I said, "Okay, can we go to the dictionary? Do you mind? Let, let us go to the dictionary, brother." And whatever the dictionary a brother says, uh, we will uh, uh, take it. Uh, let us break it. Hmm. Let us go to the dictionary. Here we go. This is the word. This is the dictionary. This is the word al -usayla. And this is the mean of it. You see, do you see the meaning? What is the meaning? What is the meaning? Orgasm. What is the word? Ausaila. What is the meaning? Orgasm. What is the word? Ausaila. What is the meaning? Orgasm. I mean, you have to give it to them. They are very slow. What I can say. So you give us a speeches about and you tell me brother let read for me chapter 5 verse number 5 you are right nice to meet you and the funny he refuted everything i gave him but he don't he he didn't want to tell me how he refuted me and now supposedly he gave me something and he's excited about it i want to refute you about something you just said 5 minutes ago and what is that uh, Muslims they, they have uh, unlawful sex. No, no, no Muslims don't do unlawful sex Muslims legalize every unlawful sex and they make it lawful and that make you believe that Muslims don't do lawful sex Or unlawful sorry
Anyone? Do we have any beautiful, mm, you know, beautiful Muslim want to call us? Any handsome Muslim? You know, one of the reasons I like to convert to Islam too, because an Islam man, he have to take care of his face. But if a woman, she take care of her face, Allah will curse her. I mean, have you ever heard of such a thing? What is that? Why? What kind of God he got upset? If a woman What happened to this browser is not opening Mm -hmm. Something wrong. There's one letter in my keyboard is not working. I think I have a genie. All right. <clears throat> All those kind of women, Allah He cursed them. One of them, if a woman she put a wig. Mean even that. What if a woman she don't have too much hair? I mean, what what the problem with Allah? Why? I mean, she is a woman, and she will not be happy to feel to, to not to look beautiful. So, what's your problem? What is the problem of God? He is God. I mean, why he is busy with those silly stuff? A woman she put a wig. We have to curse her now. Hello. Read this. Allah he cursed the women who supplies fake hair and the one who asked for it. Uh oh if you have a store and in your store you sell fake hair, Allah curse you. And if you are the one who buy it, Allah he curse you, which means you will go to hell. The women who pulls out hair from other people. And the women who and the women who do that too, and not only that, the women they, they did this. And Namisa, and Namisa, what Namisa means a woman who black hair from the bra, the eyebrow, until she make it thin. If you do that, brother, Allah He curse you. I mean, you can be cursed in this cult for any reason. Allah is waiting for you. Ah, she is taking hair from her her face. Okay, I'm going to curse her immediately. I curse you. 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 And the Muslim will say, "Amin." Okay, the woman is gone. Became shish kebab now. Well, what the crime she did take care of her face that's a big crime that's a horrible thing I mean do you do you know how dangerous this how dare you to do that do you know that the whole earth future is based on you taking hair from your face The messenger of Allah cursed women who do tattoo and women who have them done and al mutanamisa which means the women should take care from her face and the women who fix their teeth you know they have a problem with their teeth hmm. uh, I heard Aisha yeah, the same the same hadith okay look at this and what is the logic behind this? Because they changed the creation of Allah. 
Why Allah He cursed them? Look at the logic. Because they changed the creation of Allah. So why you do circumcision? So now taking hair from the face is a crime, and they are changing the look of Allah. But Muhammad, he himself, he used to color his hair red. Isn't it? This is a change of the look of Allah. Why a man? It's okay for him, and he's a man. And Muhammad, he used to color his hair red. He want to be redhead. And by the way, he forbid Muslims from coloring their hair black. It's forbidden. It's haram, haram. So if a creation the way Allah he made you, why you do circumcision? Why the Muslim man he shave his mustache? As the Prophet said, why you grow his beard? Why you clean hair from your face? Muhammad, he used to do sugar. He used to wax his body from, from here. And who is this one is calling? Hello? Hello? Yes, Abdul. Hello? Yes, Abdul, I hear you. What happened? Yes, Abdul, why you no. hang up? Uh, my connection is bad. All right. How I can help you? Yeah, um, I just want to say that you're right. Mm. Aren't you a Muslim? Uh, yeah um basically i just want to say something really quick mm. um, um i've been to israel recently um and i've talked to a lot of um arab muslims and christians alike mm. and i just want to say that you're <coughs> you're 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 right when you say you know muslims don't like christians and stuff like that because um i've, I've, I've spoken to a lot of um arab muslims mm. i told them i'm atheist i didn't tell them i'm christian you know for safety reasons and so yeah, you're, they you're, opened you're, up and they said, Christian you know, they, they, they didn't like um, Christians and all that kind of stuff. Okay, um, so they said they could fire the dirt and all that kind of stuff. Mm. And also, if you look at the churches, most of the churches um, were destroyed by Muslims, you know, during yeah. crusades and all that kind of stuff. Okay, my friend. And, uh, uh, and also, before, uh, yeah, before you continue, thing, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. Guys, don't call me unless you are a Muslim. Don't call me unless you are a Muslim. I allow you to call me because I thought you are a Muslim. So don't call me. I do not need you to explain to me. Uh, you can make your own conversation. You can, you know, but this is not the topic. We want only Muslims to call us. No, don't call me. Don't call me. Only Muslims can call me. Actually, I will block you. Never call me without permission. Unless you are a Muslim. Is it clear? The reason I want Muslims to call because I want you to hear the other side of the story to be fair We don't want to be a bunch of Christians who like Muslims do that and Muslims do that and I don't I don't do this Here Is an academic work We say something we show it, we prove it. I Heard he heard she's heard. I don't care for those stuff we are not a bunch of kids same time the same time we are talking against Islam we should allow the Muslims to speak and maybe we are wrong so people they can hear or see two sides of the coin not only one you know he you know he is a Muslim he said uh, I uh, they don't know I'm a Christian whatever I don't know anyway I'm, I'm done with this He is not a Muslim. What a Muslim? He said, he said, I did not tell them I am a Christian. And they opened to me. So what do you mean he was a Muslim? Aren't you listening? Yeah, anyway. Do we have any Muslim would like to say something to us? same time i don't like to talk to lawyers lawyers i mean why you talk to muslims you play a game and you say to them i'm not a Mu i am muslim so they will tell me i don't i don't do that we christians yay yay no nay nay you know you're a christian you say i'm a christian
Anyway, do we have any Muslim would like to speak to us? Muslims they play games because their religion is a, is a is a cult. You know everything is lawful for them. Muhammad himself, he allowed the Muslims to lie and he encouraged them to lie. Actually, Muhammad he says a Muslim he can lie in three cases to his family, his friends, and his enemy. Who's left? Who's left? Right. Man, I flipped the page and this appeared in front of me. I mean, I cannot. How am I going to stay single after this? I'm not sure. I mean, life is hard, my friend. Look at this. And now, supposedly, I will stay. I'm single. Man. And you are telling me why you should convert to Islam. This is so beautiful. Look at the, look at this move. Uh, look at this one. Oh boy. Allah, Allah, He knew everything we need, brother. He knew all your needs. Hmm? As long as you see, uh, hold on, I just mentioned Allah, He knows all your needs. Uh, you know, Muslims, why Jibreel he keep coming up, coming down, coming up, coming down? If Allah, he knows all our needs. Muhammad, he asked Jibreel, Jibreel go up to heaven, he asked Allah, and he come back. Okay, Allah, he knows all our need. Why he need to go back? Up, 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 up. Any uh, Muslim have an idea? If you go to the chapter of Qaf, I think verse number 16, let us see if we can. Muhammad he said and your interpretation that Allah is a closer to you from from the vein in your uh, in your neck okay so why why Jibreel keep coming up and coming down coming up coming down what is that huh what is that It was we who created man, and we know that dark suggestion to his soul. Make him, by the way, translate is false. Uh, so Allah, He knew what even anything anyone whispered to you, He knew it right away. Okay, so why, when Allah, why, when Muhammad, He have a question, He give it to Jibreel, and Jibreel, He go up to heaven. Why Allah don't tell Muhammad right away? What is this round the trip going up, going down, going up, going down? Any Muslim? Anyone? My friend, you have a feeling that he was the Muslim. You don't have a feeling. I don't care. Keep your feeling. Any Abdul? I mean, this guy, Jibreel, is going up, Jibreel is coming down. And you know, the Quran, oh, by the way, we are in chapter Qaf. I love chapter Qaf. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why we, I love chapter Qaf? This is my favorite, especially verse number one. Qaf. What is that? Qaf. Uh, by the way, all of those words here are additional. Okay. Qaf. What Qaf mean? Anyone knows what Qaf mean? Okay. I will teach you science today. A science you will remember for a long, long time. Let me show you what Qaf mean. You Christians, I feel sorry for you. Your book does not have Qaf. We Muslims, we have Qaf. Now, you don't have Qaf. And now I'm going to show you the benefit of Qaf. The Qaf, by the way, is a letter. Uh, but uh, for the Muslims, it means something else. All right.
if we go brother to the Quran and this is the official government website of the kingdom of Jordan we go to chapter 50 off verse number one uh, verse number one a jalalain said read carefully with me it's not me who's saying that cough Allah knows best what he mean by these letters <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> okay it changed to a higher scholar who have extra knowledge the cousin of the prophet man look at this here we go in the deep science and from his narration on the authority of Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas is the cousin of the Prophet he said in the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf Qaf he says is an azure mountain overlooking this world and the color of the sky takes from it Allah swear by it that's amazing this is the benefit of coming and listening to me today you just did learn something scientifically proven to be accurate and nobody knows except me and you and uh, Allah around this earth okay I know that most of you are slow not like us we are Arab we are very smart so I'm going to draw for you uh, the, the the situation the situation so there is a mountain around the earth this mountain is called Kof and this mountain is blue and this is why you see in the West they are trying to copy Allah there is a song it says oh mommy oh mommy mommy blue oh mommy blue oh mommy so off is a big mountain around the earth and this is where the Quran says that we made the sky as a roof because there is a mount I wish I can make it for you 3d graphics so you can see it better brother so uh, this is this is a this is a huge mountain around the earth and I'm trying to make it for you 3d Hey, by the way guys I have copyright over all my drawing so if you try to say it in any museum in France and I don't even try or auctions or I know many of you are trying to take opportunity waiting for me to draw something so you copy it you make a print you publish it like a Christmas card you know I, I know if I know all those to start don't try okay we have copyright over it okay look guys look how I move my like unbelievable I love it when I do this nobody can do that by the way actually even even my mom she said you are the best ever between mankind who can draw draw like this so anyway like this is the mountain for, for, why are we talking about my mom now uh, but it's true what she said isn't it I mean we have to admit all of us we have to admit we have to be honest here so this is a mountain around the earth and it's a blue and this is a blue mountain you see I don't have a thick uh, paint to to make it uh, blue fast so this blue mountain is a strong surrounding the earth the earth is a flat and there's a mountain like a like a wall four walls around the earth and in the top of it the sky but look at this here, here here the science is the sky it take its color from the blue mountain why it's blue because Muhammad he look at the sky he saw it blue so he have to come with explanation hello if he saw the sky red he would say it's red mountain hello What do you think, Muslims, about this? Isn't it so beautiful?
Any uh, any Mohammedan he wanna say something to us? And this is why here in the top it says what it's saying that Allah he swear by this mountain because this mountain is so big it's around the earth how many people here from Indonesia now you see I made it early so you guys from Indonesia Philippines Asia you can join us that's why I decided today to make it earlier so you people can join us don't need to stay so late by the way I discover that in Indonesia there's a lot of Indonesian unbelievable which is really surprising but but they don't have cough they have nice beaches beautiful people but they don't have cough and they don't know about cough. We are the Arab. We are the only one who have cough. I feel sorry for you. You don't have cough. You are from Pakistan, my friend. Do you know that's what that we Arab when we say we don't say Pakistan, we say Pakistan, ba Pakistan, because in Arabic we don't have P. You know, we have B, not P. So always when an Arab pronounce. Uh, any letter has to do with P mostly like we don't say shampoo we say shampoo you know shampoo yeah Pakistan Pakistan from India you see uh, yeah so we would try every weekend like to, you know to go early so you guys who are coming from Asia um, you know you can join us and I love you all by the way uh, I, what I love about Asian people, Asian people are different from, I mean, they are really too different. As an example, if you watch uh, an Indian movie, you will notice that Indian uh, uh, movies are full of emotion. That's because of the nature of the people. They are really emotional. And the same for most of Asia. They are emotional people, which is something beautiful, by the way, because we as a human without emotion, we are not a human. And actually, even animals have emotion. So the more we lose emotion, and feeling the more we are not a human no more so one of the great gift for us as a human that we feel and the more we feel the more we are human the more we are close to God you know we feel you see them watching a movie they cry because they have a great emotion they are you know they, they have a very strong feeling they did not kill their feeling they did not became people of money and business so the more you don't feel the less you are really close to God so this is really good to have a feeling and to to, to be uh, to be sensitive you know uh, like uh, you know you want to watch somebody doing beheading I mean what is your feeling he is beheading a human being as if he is killing a you know I mean a chicken I mean how disgusting so there is there is culture and there is religions who kill your feeling they kill it they make it not exist and you will notice that Muhammad he worked so hard to uh, to make this happen as an example when the Muslims they do killing or be hidden the, the Mujahideen like Isis they quote uh, this uh, verse from the Quran which is saying I did not shoot but Allah he shot you did not kill it was Allah who killed them so Muhammad he wanted them to feel that they are not criminals look so look how evil he is so he said it is not you who slew them it was Allah by making such a statement you make a person who is slowing a person don't feel guilty no more you you know emotion is gone it's not me Yes, I put the knife around his neck. Yes, I slaughtered him, but it was Allah. So, Muhammad, as an evil person, he was able to kill all your emotion as a human. 
and to make you a slaughtering machine which don't feel guilty for killing innocent people I did not kill them it was Allah I did not shoot them it was Allah I did not slaughter them it was Allah so imagine if every one of us practice such a thing we shoot we say it's God who made me do that that's mean a human being he is out of guilt that's it he blame don't blame me it was Allah very evil yeah it's the same as somebody he rape a woman and he says uh, you know uh, he blamed the devil as an example uh, Satan made me do but you did it I mean devil. Or you know, he, you know, you can always commit crimes, and you can blame everything except you. Always, we can justify crimes. Always, very easy. Here, it's just justification for crimes. Do we have any Muslim? Yeah, you know when the Muslims they report my videos by the way create many YouTube channels make a backup all right and when they report the first channel for you they say you get a warning from YouTube put all your videos down to enlisted until the warning the strike is gone and then put them back they have to play the game they will not stop us my videos are all over YouTube you take one down there's 10 they will pop up right away so that will not stop us. Uh, <clears throat> do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Actually, uh, I, I spoke to a, a Muslim, and now him and his family, they became Christians. He said to me the reason actually I did watch your video I never he said he I never uh, he never saw my video before and then he said he was in Facebook and then a guy he posts in Facebook that uh, guys uh, flag this guy flag this guy he's attacking Allah blah 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 so this guy you know he became interested to know who is this guy I mean why the Muslims are so upset from him and he was upset too so he went to flag my video and he clicked and to see what this guy is talking about so he watched the second first video he came in to flag me you know the first video the second video the third video and then it ended that he called me in skype and he and his family all of them they didn't denounce the devil and they left islam and they accepted the christ so imagine they wanted to flag me it end they send me Muslims to leave Islam so even when they try to do bad without knowing they are doing good like uh, like the guy who called me just a few days ago he says either you are a big fat liar or the Imams so he's he's upset from me for what I'm saying and then echo he called me as a Muslim he hang up as non-muslim All right so don't worry you cannot stop us and there is very simple thing you Muslims you have to face I have knowledge which you cannot fight none of you can fight and that is your weakness the knowledge we have nobody can dispute and nobody can refute this is not a fight in boxing and shouting the flagging videos what so okay we, we I have many channels I can open you know or I can go right now and live broadcast in different channel immediately so what you did nothing wherever I go people will follow you cannot find the truth same time you notice that we challenge all those who claim that they have knowledge in Islam but they don't dare to cut it close to me they want to debate only people who have a blue eyes American Western 
who do not know Islam much or don't speak Arabic so they can make mockery of them oh, brother I know I know this will happen I know you do not know Arabic and you don't know Hebrew and Elijah I mean God with us <laughs> nice to meet you Mimi hmm? they take advantage of your kindness you know for me nobody can do mockery with me and you know that you try to do mockery with me I will whip your nose with the floor number two you cannot ever try even to refute me try it here we go we are live on air waiting for any Mohammedan to call they don't debate they do mockery they depend on mockery to make themselves look like they are winning Do we have any Muslim here? Any Muhammadan? Yeah, if you watch any debate, you will see the Muslims, most of them, you know, very rarely, they always take, even, even the one who look polite, even that one, he try to make it as a mockery. They don't really debate and when you speak with Muslims, they are not debating you. It's a game It's like a hide-and-seek If you watch any of my videos, whatever videos I spoke to Muslims, you will find that I have to trap the Muslim to make him Give a conclusion like this guy I said to him uh, You know he called me uh, Islam truth uh, his name in Skype. He called me. He says I refuted you and I will show you this to refute you about what you said five minutes ago. And then the second I showed him something very embarrassing, he hung up. The Noor guy is really naive. My friend, anyone who follow this cult is naive. You tell me who are you if you are not naive? To believe that there is a God will give us a lot of women for sex if we believe in him. You must be an idiot. I mean, this is what God he do for a living. He load the trucks full of women. Hey, you, get your truck. Because you pray for me five times a day, brother. You are right. You have to be naive. A river of honey, a river of... Uh, and you will wear a bracelet from gold. Even he is not consistent. One verse says a bracelet from gold, and the other verse says a bracelet from silver. So you have to be very, you know, what kind of God he promised me I will have a couch in heaven? Couch in heaven? Are you serious? Because Muhammad. Uh, he was speaking to Bedouin people, Arab. And those people, they never have, uh, you know, beds. They never have beds. They sleep in the ground. They never have a bracelet in their hands. Those things the Roman they have, they see the Roman having them when they go and trade, but they don't have it. Their clothes is very simple. Their furniture is almost nothing. They sleep in the floor. They live in a tent. And then Muhammad is trying to convince them that if you go to my belief, look what I will give you. Look at this verse. This is God talking. For them will be garden of eternity. Beneath them river will flow. They will adorn their in with the bracelets. You want the bracelet? Your dream come to be true. Allah will give you one bracelet in the heaven. What do you want more? What do you want more? 
here we go the bracelet and we got and then bracelet of gold in different verse it says bracelet of silver and they will wear a green garment of fine silk by the way it doesn't say uh, only uh, a green garment it says it is called a stubrock a stubrock you see in the old days there was a very famous fabric made in Persia it's called a stubrock like now you say Gucci so imagine how silly this God he promised me Gucci imagine you we have a, a prophet today he come to us he promised me Nike or Gucci this is exactly what the word is it's a brand made in Persia at that time only rich people they can afford so Allah he promised me promised me Gucci isn't it obvious that this is stupid yeah because this is how it made it's made from this is Tabrak is very well known it's a green silk it's an imported from Persia the Arab they did not know how to do this so this is a very extreme expensive silk made in Iran and Muhammad is a promising them something will be exist in heaven made in Iran by the kuffar if Muhammad is exist in our time he promise he will promise us a big TV a PlayStation in his time this is the best he can do couch high couches breast from gold you will wear a you, uh, imagine how boring that everybody in the heaven wear a green clothes as if you are a, a doctor who is in a hospital and in the top of that he says and they will reclaim their in on the rise couches not thrown or reclaim that's God talking hey brother you will reclaim brother brother you will reclaim in the heaven brother really I will reclaim are you serious I cannot wait to reclaim this is a promise for the lazy Arab Bedouin who don't like to work love to sleep all day long making poetry outside it's very hot it's time now to reclaim it's a sofa bed yeah so this is God is talking and look how lazy they are you are if if you want something if you want something in the heaven of Allah the fruits will come to you you don't walk for the fruit and the funny Uh, like uh, look look even the the parable after that supposedly <laughs> discuss about Ramadan is the month of doing jihad and attacking people go and see how many attack happen in Ramadan just in the last 48 hours well anyway we will not stay longer I think we have enough for today please don't forget to download the videos immediately after we finish it take about uh, if the video always is less than two hours it doesn't take time really for you to download like maybe take five minutes for uh, YouTube to prepare the video to be able to be downloaded but if it's longer than two hours it take maybe 20 minutes before you can download the video always remember that all right so I want to say thank you how they believe on one day old girl wife of adult this sickness I don't show what you mean anyway guys I want to say thank uh, say thank you for being here I hope today we did learn something good always always try to uh, keep keep yourself uh, educated education is the best thing you can earn when you get older you see when we get older we lose many things you might lose even your health but there's something you should not lose knowledge your knowledge increase your skin is not the same as before 
Uh, you cannot jump as before. You cannot do things as before. But there is something should go and always in the right direction. That is knowledge. When you get older, it's not an excuse for you that one day you were naive. I was young. I was naive. I was foolish. How you can give yourself an excuse that today you are old and still naive and foolish? Knowledge is the most important gift we have, we as a human, after our health from God. So always seek knowledge. Because knowledge can protect you even from health problems. Ignorance, the Bible says, my people being destroyed because of their ignorance. Ignorance, my friend, is our enemy. It's not the Muslims. Muslims are poor people, they need help. Their ignorance is their problem, and our ignorance is the problem. So we are here to fight ignorance with education. We don't want people to be killed, we don't want violence. Violence is a very clear sign of, of, of weakness, not of strength. People, when they are out of response, they cannot even explain themselves. They cannot answer anything. They go violent to shout, scream, and they will, because they cannot take a question. They cannot explain the questions or even the answer. So always arm yourself with knowledge. When you have knowledge, wherever you go, people, they look at you differently. Your place, your chair is reserved in the front because people like to listen to the one who have knowledge, not to the foolish man or woman. And the best knowledge you can earn, I believe, is be inspired by the Bible and the teaching of Christ because I never saw something beautiful and amazing in wisdom and spiritual in the same time, not empty words, as his words. So I advise you all, Yes, you listen to us, but don't forget, there is something more important. Learn your Bible and read the wisdom of Christ, for this is the best to know. And this is the best to arm you to fight your own ignorance and your dry, you know, spiritual life. Sometimes we go dry. Life is harsh. It's like, uh, you know, you have your skin under the sun for a long time, and then you need a cream. Otherwise, your skin is going to collapse. Thank you for being here, guys. And may the Lord bless you. And thank you for those who support us. Christ is Lord. His time is false. And see you soon. Bye-bye.